Okay, what up everybody, ShockerDrone911 here, and uh, this is going to be a video game review. I know I have not been doing a lot of these video game reviews because I've been doing a lot of beer reviews, but yeah, I'm going to start trying to get back on the uh, video games, and of course I'm going to be doing beer reviews Sunday, but I know last Sunday I did not post out a video uh, video on a beer review because I was kind of busy, but but I'm just doing a video game review right now. i got two games right here, and it's Bioshock, which is... I gotta say, it's one of my favorite games for the 360. And Bioshock 2, which I just got like about two weeks ago. Both, I beat it both with uh, good and bad endings. Uh, but the first uh, story of Bioshock, uh, a man by the name of Andrew Ryan creates a underwater city called Rapture, right under the Atlantic Ocean. Now what he wants to get rid of is religion and government. I believe he made the city in 1948. I could be wrong about that. Could be wrong about that, but um, but the city starts to fall apart. Now I, like I'm guessing right here, like 19, 1956 or 1958. That's when the city starts running them up with chaos, with uh, conspiracies, with like the people remind me of really a lot, like a bunch of crackheads running around for uh, their drug fix. Uh, a man who's uh, responsible for a lot of this corruption is one, Andrew Ryan, and another man by the name of Frank Fontaine. And Andrew Ryan believes that Frank Fontaine is dead. And once you find out that he, once uh, Andrew Ryan finds out that Frank Fontaine is dead, a new man by the name of Atlas comes in who creates even more chaos in the city. And you you are introduced by uh, Atlas at the very beginning, almost at the very beginning of the game, by radio, who tries to uh, help you out to survive, but he wants in return for you to uh, save his family. Now, this the atmosphere of this game is dark as hell. I love the music. I love how the how it composes to like the 1970s and 1980s types of horror slash thrill uh, slasher type of movies, but. It kind of remind me like uh, with the movies of like uh, The Shining of how Jack Nicholson started going crazy and started playing that one eerie type of music, you know, with uh, with uh, what's her name of uh, flipping through the pages of uh, uh, All Work and No Play makes Jack a dull boy and starts playing that one music. It's got that in the game right there. It, it's just really intense. And for the uh, actual music of like uh, 1930s and 1940s. I gotta say that's like the wagging finger type of music, you know, like 1960 where they were singing about drugs and all that. In 1950, you had Elvis Presley shaking his hips, which was outrageous back then. And in the 1930s and 1940s, they had wagging finger type of music. But it really does go with well with this game right here, especially with the eeriness of how it is. Uh, for the people that are really mentally insane in this game, they are all going crazy for this thing called Adam that little sisters have inside the bodies. And now what they do is that they either, uh, well, they pretty much just kill them. But you have a choice of either killing the little sisters or saving them, which gives you a, like a little bit of Adam if you save them. But you really want to do this because you do get gifts if you do save them. But if you just harvest them, you get a tons more Adam. But... You won't get the gifts for that. Uh, the people of Rapture, they are all fixed on this atom right there, and their faces start to deteriorate. They're all changing because of their genetic code of their bodies. Uh, once they once were, and now what's, what's happening to them, they're like melting right apart. Their pieces of their lips are like missing. Their eyeballs are like kind of like sagging a little bit. And the people are just like, screaming and hollering at you and some of them are even singing Jesus loves me which really does bring out the the eeriness of this game right here uh, also the um, the other protect the other uh, characters of this game are the big daddies and they are hard as hell to fucking kill I mean the first one was a gimme since big daddy is killed but the second one they had to kill uh, that one becomes really hard and the ones that I really hated the most out of the big daddies was probably the ones with the uh, the fishbowl head ones that have this uh, rabbit gun and the uh, that throw like this uh, like these bombs at you that place under the ground if you touch it of course they're going to explode those are the hardest ones I got to say of the game but the story of how 
what really made it a twist was right at the second half of the game of Project WYK. I really don't want to give away on that right there. You guys really got to play uh, how this storyline ends up with Andrew Ryan, the main character, uh, Fontaine, Atlas. Um, uh, oh, God, what's, a, what's that one chick's name? Uh, that German chick who created all these little sisters now wants to save them all. I can't remember her name. Tenenbaum. All these characters are all pretty much linked together. But you guys definitely got to pick uh, pick up Bioshock. It is a great, fun ass game. And very eerie as hell. I looked through everything of this game. And I love every single bit, bit of it. I always collected the audio diaries. I loved to hear what was going on. But with Bioshock 2, uh, it pretty much was more of a linear type of story. A woman by the name of Sophia Lamb wants to... Uh, recreate Rapture, trying to bring it all together, uh, be one with the people and all. And I wish they would have changed their name to uh, Sophia Shepherd because the people of Rapture really follow her. Like they say that she's the keen savior of Rapture. And uh, what you are, you are this uh, big daddy who was, uh, who was once a protector of uh, Sophia Lamb's daughter by the name of Eleanor Lamb. And in 1958, you are separated by... Uh, Sophia Lamb that tells you to uh, shoot yourself in the head, which you do. And in 1968, you are somehow resurrected uh, back up to regain uh, or, or to uh, save uh, Eleanor Lamb again. But I got to say, Sophia Lamb was uh, really lacking on the main villain. I mean, also with Andrew Ryan's voice in this, I think that they used a, someone else's, uh, uh, someone else dubbed uh, Andrew Ryan right there. Because with Andrew Ryan, the very first one, he seemed like he was he had this voice of intimidation. But in the second one of the audio diaries, he seemed kind of like depressing. He seemed kind of bored and all that. I was like, ugh. It, it, the audio diaries of the, very, of the second one were not as good as the audio diaries of the very first one right here. And with Sophia Lamp, I know that she's a psychologist, but she has this monotone voice of calmness. But I really didn't feel like a sense of... Uh, a fear against her like with uh, Andrew Ryan but I do got to say that Bioshock 2 is still a really good game and they, they up the uh, ante of the Atom 2 the, they actually can see the upgrades of the uh, fire the electricity and the telekinesis I love the telekinesis of the second one especially the uh, very last upgrade of it where you can at least pick up a, a live uh, enemy and use them as the, like a human shield and toss the enemy to the other enemies, like, oh, my God, oh, I, I, I got to say bowling for enemies right there. But that was really fun right there. That was my favorite uh, power right there. But it's just like with Bioshock uh, 1 right here. But the story is just not that good. The atmospheres do change, did change a little bit. Like, now we got coral, coral kind of growing, and the uh, place is starting to get even more deteriorated. And the newer enemies of the Brute sprite, uh, Splicers and the... Uh, the really hard ones are the uh, big sisters. They are a pain in the ass. But it's not as good as the very first one. But I still got to say Bioshock 2 is still a pick-me-up. And I know a lot of people say that these games are very repetitive. But I got to say what games are not repetitive. They're all pretty much repetitive. But yeah, pick up these games, especially the first one. Do not play the second one if you have not played the first one. The second one will ruin it for you. It talks about Project WYK. Well, that's it, you guys. Thanks for watching, and I shall never quit gaming.